Developments tonight involving one of Canada's deadliest attacks in history. One of two suspects has now been found dead. The other remains on the run tonight after killing 10 people in a series of stabbings across Saskatchewan. Some of the victims, authorities say, were targeted. Others, though, completely random. Correspondent Sloan Glass is here now. So, Sloan, what do we know about the manhunt for that second suspect tonight? Nicole, the manhunt is ongoing, and Canadian police announcing that one of the suspects has been found dead. The story is developing, but what we know now is that the injuries were not self inflicted. The other suspect, who we have learned recently, is his brother, is still on the loose and may be injured. There's a lot of grief. There's a lot of anxiety in our province and in our communities this morning and all day yesterday. One of the suspects, Damian Sanderson, was found dead Monday evening. However, the manhunt continues for the other attacker, his brother, Miles Sanders. Miles has a long criminal record and was known to police. Canadian police are saying Miles could be injured. His injuries, uh, we're n we can't confirm those injuries, but we do have... Um, Strong reason to believe that he has sustained some injuries. For the two men believed to be behind one of the deadliest mass killings in Canadian history. Ten people dead, at least 15 others fighting for their lives following this weekend's stabbing spree in the Canadian province of Saskatchewan. Police suspect Damian Sanderson and Miles Sanderson were behind it all. But their motive remains unknown. It appears that some of the victims may have been targeted and some may be random. So to speak to a motive would be extremely difficult at this point in time. The first stabbings happening just before 6 a.m. local time. Within hours, police issued dangerous persons alert across the province. The duo left over a dozen crime scenes across the indigenous community of James Smith Cree Nation and the neighboring town of Weldon. There, an 89-year-old woman was drinking coffee with her daughter on her porch Sunday morning when she thinks one of the suspects approached her. I've been stabbed and my mouth has been hurt. And I said, well, let's see. And he says, no, it's real bad. I can't show you. I said, what is your name? And he, and he said, apparently said it, but I couldn't tell what his name was by what he said. By midday, their car was spotted in the capital city of Regina, about three and a half hours south. And we're learning more about the victims. The youngest was born in 1999. And while police haven't released the motive for the stabbing rampage, a senior Indigenous leader suggests that it was drug-related. Nicole. Yeah, hopefully uh, authorities will be able to locate that second person. All right, Sloan, thank you for that. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.